welcome to my channel if you like my videos then kindly subscribe like and watch thank you bismillahir rahmanir rahim problem 2.28 in this problem it is stated that the length of 3 over 2 inch diameter steel wire cd has been adjusted that with no load applied a gap of 1 over 16 inch exists between the end b of the rigid beam acb and a contact point E. So you can see this is a rigid beam A, C, B and there is a contact point gap between B and E which is 1 over 16 inch and this is a length of wire C, D. Clear? Uh, knowing that E is equal to 29 newton rest power 16 psi determine where a 15 pound block should be placed on the beam in order to cause contact B between B and E. So we have to find the location of this 15 pound weight that can be placed over this rigid beam so that this point B and E should contact with each other. So let's start with the solution of the problem. As we know that uh, if you place the uh, this weight over the rigid beam so they, it, this beam will move downward. Clear? So if I write the beam is like this. Clear? So this is point A. This is let's say B, uh, the weight, 50 pound weight and B. So it will move. It will deflect like this. So initially it was this one. So this angle, uh, sorry, this distance is 1 over 16 inch and the total length of the beam is 20 inch that is given 14 plus 16 so definitely it will form a angle theta clear so this is 1 over 16 inch and this is 20 inch so tangent of theta will be equal to 1 over 16 divided by 20 so theta will be equal to tangent inverse 1 over 16 by 20. So when you calculate this, uh, the theta comes out to be, let me calculate it. Let me calculate it. Okay, so if you divide 1 by 16, so 1 by 16 is equal to, let me write it tangent inverse, 0 0.0625 divided by 20 and if you take the tangent inverse of this term, so theta will comes out to be 0 0.179 degree. Clear? Now we have to convert it into radian as we know that 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radian again 1 degree will be equal to pi by 180 radian so if you multiply this 0 0.17 with pi by 180 so theta will comes out to be 3 point let me calculate it it will comes out to be 3 point 1 to 5 3.125 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian. So we will move further. Now as this beam will move downward, so this C point will also move downward. So we will find this distance as well. Clear? So if you know it will make a triangle as well this will be the same theta which that it is moved clear this is 4 inch and this distance is not known so you can again take tangent of theta is equal to let this distance is y so that equal to y over 4 so y will be equal to 4 times tangent of theta so if you put theta will be this 
so you will get this distance y and this will be equal to uh, this will be equal to 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch also you can directly say this is the theta clear so this will be this theta c will be equal to 4 time of theta because it is 4 time of this clear so total deflection in this will be our total elongation not theta uh, this is a total change in length we will write it again total c is equal to 4 time of theta clear so because we have converted it into radian so that will be 4 theta clear and when you put the value of 4 into 3.125 into 10 to the power minus 3 so that will give you 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch so this is this is the total deflection or total change in length in wire dc and it will be again equal to change in total change in length of cd or dc clear now you know that uh, diameter of wire dc or cd is given that is uh, 3 over 32 inch in the above problem 3 over 32 inch so area will be area of cd will be equal to pi by 4 d square and this d is 3 over 32 whole square and this area comes out to be 6.9029 into 10 to the power minus 3 inch square again you have to find the force in this wire cd so as we know that force in cd or p into cd is equal to um, as change in length of cd is equal to p of cd into l of cd divided by area of cd into e so p of cd will be equal to change of cd into area of cd into modulus of elasticity of wire divided by length of cd now you have this value you have this value you have this and you have total length of this wire so you have to put it so change in uh, length of cd is equal to 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 area is 6.9029 into 10 to the power minus 3 and e of the wire is 29 into 10 to the power 6 total length of the wire is 12.5 inch so when you calculate it the force in this pcd comes out to be 200 0.18 pound so this is the force that is in the wire cd now we will draw the free body diagram so let's say this is the beam let's say this is the beam this is point a clear there will be a reaction force there will be a force pcd that is acting upward clear pcd and we have to find the 50 pound 50 pound load is applied on the beam that is let's say this distance is x this is not known and we are interested to find out this distance where we can locate the load 50 pound load so let me the draw the diagram over here this was the beam clear so this was reaction force at a point and that is represented as a y there are force of p c d that is equal to 200 lb acting and a 50 pound force is to be applied and we have to locate the position of this force 
so that the point the point B and E should make a contact. So total length of the beam is uh, 20 and this distance is X. Okay. So remaining this distance will be equal to 200 uh, 20 minus sorry 20 minus x so we will apply equilibrium condition in order to find this x so let's start with that so we can take the sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and keeping the counterclockwise rotation as positive so you can see that there is a force that is acting and this force is equal to PCD and it is acting at this point. Now we know that from distance from this point to this point is 4 inch that is given above. Let me show it also. So you can see here the distance between this point where CD is applied this this and this point that is perpendicular distance is 4 inch and it tends to rotate it in counterclockwise so 4 pcd minus this there is another force that is 50 pound force and it is acting downward and a perpendicular distance is 20 minus x so it will be 50 into 20 minus x that will be equal to 0 so this 4 pcd will be equal to 50 into 20 minus x also 20 minus x will be equal to 4 pcd over 50 so when you put the value 4 into pcd is 200 in point 0.18 over 50 so it will be equal to 20 minus x and this 20 minus x will be equal to 16.01 clear so x will be equal to 20 minus 16.01 and that will be equal to 3.9856 inch so mean it means that you have to locate this weight 50 pound weight at a distance of 3.98 or 3.99 from this so when you locate the 50 pound force at a distance of 3.99 so due to this weight this point b and e will be in contact with each other so this was all prob about problem 2.28 if you like the video kindly subscribe like and watch thank you